Hey, welcome back to HBM Mod, aka Xernox Destruction Simulator. Well, I mean, sort of. We, 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 we destroyed another reactor. Well, actually, I need to go check on that. I need to turn it down. I need to turn off this reactor before something bad happens. Okay, that's enough of that. I need to turn on the RBMK today because apparently RBMK is out of energy. I don't know how he drank so much energy. I mean, I'm assuming he just... I don't know. Maybe, maybe he didn't drink enough Rockstar energy drinks or something. I, I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I love this. Okay, let me go ahead and put this in the thing. In the bin. There better not be... No! No! <laughs> you better knock that off, dude. Okay, let's hop to it. So we got work to do today. It's very important work. It's got to be done. Now, my question is, is this guy done heating and all that he has? He's done cooking, which is good. So what are we doing today? Well, we need to make solvent. Now, you're probably wondering, how in the, how do you make solvent? What? So we need to start off by emptying out the petroleum gas, turning off this diesel generator, and turning off... That should basically allow this guy to clog with naphtha, heating oil, and diesel, which if we turn off the heating oil setup, we'll be able to clog it instantly, probably. So if we just cut off this guy's heating oil access or diesel access, it will be most optimal to do it that way. We'll just cut off this guy right here. <laughs> and then... Unclog the petroleum gas, which, how do I do this? Well, are you ready to see what I like to call the world's most wasteful method of disposing of your petroleum gas? There you go. That is how you dispose of petroleum gas in the least efficient way possible, which is now causing heavy oil to clog and naphtha. Naphtha, oh my gosh, dude. I need more naphtha. Come on, fill it up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Naphtha. <laughs> uh, but there's one other issue. How do we stop this guy from using all my aromatic hydrocarbons up like it's Gatorade or something stupid? Well, trust me, bro, I got that one covered too. I have an answer to every single problem, whether that be nuclear apocalypse or just machines stealing what they're not supposed to steal. We can stop them. Don't worry. Oh, I was thinking I was going to use this guy, but no, he's got carbon dioxide and we're going to need that for the next Xerox reactors. <laughs> we're going to need four more Xerox reactors, dude. Four more. Oh, wait, that's NAFTA? Are you kidding me? I didn't know we had NAFTA. Oh. If I known, dude, we'd be in a completely different. Shut up. Silence. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this. So, this guy right here, he's clogged with naphtha, diesel, a heating oil, probably too. Not no more because I need to get a barrel for some stuff. Uh, diesel. So diesel is unclogged. Now, do we have any barrels? Line over here, which I don't think we do. Hey, are you? You're supposed to be boiling water, correct? Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble this piece. Uh, don't mind, I'm just borrowing this from my aromatic hydrocarbons and stuff. You know, it's just, uh, it's pretty normal. Pretty normal. Aromatic hydrocarbons, dude, dude. Aromatic hydrocarbons. Fill it up. ASAP. Hold on, double. Hey, boiler, get back to work. There's an order. Okay. Boiler's doing what it's supposed to do. Combination oven is shut up and be quiet. And this guy is doing stuff, probably. He's clogged. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care at all. Listen. This is the sound of oil. Well, that is. Not the, not the, not the lamb or donkey or whatever. You know, I got a feeling combination of it is out of fuel. No. 
No? Okay, then. Well, I think I know what the problem is. I think the problem is that it just doesn't have enough of this right here. And the hopper's just going to be there forever. That hopper's going to be there forever. I think. Uh, come on, dude. Dude. Come on. Stuff. Things. Gotta be done. To make this stuff and stuff. Do stuff. Ugh. Man, it's taking us this long to make something so easy as solvent. What the heck is wrong with us? <laughs> oh, okay, so now... Now we should be making aromatic hydrocarbons. And if we're not, then there's gonna be some... Yeah, okay. Now, how how do we take this and make this into solvent, you're asking? Well, it's actually not that difficult. Trust me, bro, it is actually easy. You just gotta get all the aromatic hydrocarbons in the world. You know, you'd be surprised how slow this is for getting the actual aromatic hydrocarbons. We're almost at the point where we're able to do it now. So, while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and make the template and just get us prepared. Wait! Paper check. No, nope, you don't got paper! Huh? Okay, then. You know what I say to that? I'm gonna grab all this paper from over... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to... We're gonna find reactor elements, like, in this hole here or something. You know, there might actually be reactor elements down there now that I think about it. Like, like if you think about it, a reactor element could have gone right over that wall, gone soaring right into this guy. Like, that, that is not that impossible. It would be very impressive, in fact. I'd be impressed if it made it that far. But it's not impossible. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, that's just, I, that's just... That's just the state of the universe right now. I'm, I'd am i be impressed with that, but... It's not impossible. So, yes, keep this in mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Solvent. Are you kidding me? We have to make solvent. Is this enough? This better be. Oh yeah, it's enough. <laughs> it's enough, all right. Hold on. Let me put this guy back down here. Put this over here. So, listen up. This is how we're gonna do it. One. Correct. And then we need to grab the rest of the stuff. For two. Okay. Okay. Glad we are on the same page. Napfa. This is 1600. Versus 1,000. Now, it doesn't... This is not the correct ratio at all. This is wrong. The ratio is 5 to 5. Or 500 to 500. Or 1 to 1. So, keep that in mind. Whenever I do something where it's got a barrel. Now, uh, we also need to dump these into a steel barrel. <sighs> Why is it got to be like this? Dude, sometimes, sometimes, I just wish there was a way to not place barrels next to that thing. Now, oh, where did I put the other barrel? You know what? I am just gonna make some steel barrels. You know, I'm gonna make a stack of them. I'm gonna make eight. Gonna actually, I could make a stack. I could make a stack of steel barrels, and you all would not have to worry about me running out of steel. So let's go ahead and take care of the split for making one of these, because there is a split for this, and the split is probably 6 to 2. So that means I need 16 plates. No, 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 no. This is not plates. The rest is. Trust me, I think that's right. So if we're making a stack of barrels, 8 barrels, we're making a stack of steel in the... Come on, where the heck is my stuff when I'm looking for it? No, no, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. I know where it is. Trust me. It's right in here. Uh, I mean here. I mean, it's in this one. It's actually in this one. We just passed it. We missed it in this one. It's in this one. I missed it. Yep. I told you so. Look. Look, I told you it's in that one. This place is organized. Shut up. I don't want to hear you saying... This place is not organized. Dude. Dude. I am the most organized player, and you cannot argue with this. And if you if you say otherwise, it's pedantry. Stop it. 
I'm so organized, I can see through the walls right now. By s wait. Wait, how is- what? I was sleeping this way. What? <laughs> Dude, these 1710 beds, beds are like magic or something. They phase you into walls and stuff. It's like, what, am I not getting cut in half by this wall or something? What the- how does this work? Hey, hold on one second here. Listen up. Here's how this is gonna work. So, barrel. Napfa. Do it. Now. So this is gonna be a napfa. Napfa. <laughs> napfa barrel. It's gonna go in there. It's gonna do its stuff. That one's gonna go in there too. Right. Now, we are at even amounts, so that way if I take this thing out for whatever reason, I don't gotta worry about it at all. Now, set this guy to input. Now, if we're gonna go ahead and do this this way, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out this guy, this guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, Aromatic Hydrocarbon. Boom. So now he's Aromatic Hydrocarbon. Put this guy in here. Chemistry. And now we need Solvent Output. Which is gonna be solvent. Solvent! I said solvent. Solvent, solvent. Solvent? So we only need. We don't. I think we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. Whoa. It's making the thing. It's making it. Dude, go faster. Go faster. Wait, is our RBMK online? Uh-oh, the RBMK is not online, is it? Oh, it is! It's online! Hey, that's nice. I, I turned it on and everything. How much do you need to do? 79,000. Uh, actually, we are getting close to the point where we're going to need a new reactor. A new type of reactor. Well, actually, several new types of reactor. We're at the point... We're at the point of the game where there is four reactors that are going to be coming up soon. We will have the RBMK for the depletion of shrubidium but here is the catalytic reformer we've been waiting so desperately to achieve my friends it is done it's done the catalytic reformer reformer do it now this is a big moment anyway reform it yeah! Oh my gosh. I love making catalytic reformers. Here we go. That's a catalytic reformer for you right there. Now, what is this for? This is for the vacuum refinery. This goes on as a thing like this. It is like the cracking tower, except dumb. No, I'm joking. It's actually one of my favorite machines. In fact, you'll see sometimes there's an Easter egg that spins around on there. Which is, uh, related to something they do in the NTM Discord, which is weird. I don't know. They like weird stuff there, and I'm not gonna question it. So, I will just leave them to that. Wh whatever that may be. Um. Yeah, anyway. Universal fluid duct. Now, there is one big problem with putting it right there. Which you may have noticed. It's that this guy can no longer output his stuff. So this guy has to be moved a little bit over to here, which is a, it's just a little distance. Now then, we now need to make the wonderful thing called do 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 do. What is it called? What is it? What is what is this taking out sour gas? That's it. So this guy is actually going to run sour gas, but there's one more thing that needs to be done for this catalytic reformer before it can actually work. My friends, this of course is the catalytic converter. Uh, which is PVC bismuth cobalt powder, but can we do it? I believe you all know the answer to that one. It's always yes If somebody asks you if you're still capable of doing something always answer with yes because answering any other way is wrong You're welcome that's good life advice all right, and if you're wondering how is good life advice just trust me bro It's good life advice. Oh My gosh, we're gonna be making so much bismuth Okay, we need to shut up with no more Duke Nukem impressions. They're not even good. They're not even good Duke Nukem... Uh, <laughs> they're not even good impressions. <laughs> Just shut up. Shut up. Okay. Well, how are we doing this? 
Uh, we're gonna shred these two and this guy. Okay, sounds good to me. Um, so that will go through there. Like so. And come into my inventory. Uh, from here I'll take this up the stairs. And I will grab the bismuth. Or the cadmium. Cadmium steel actually welds better than regular steel. Regular technetium steel, actually. Uh, not regular steel. Technetium steel. Regular steel doesn't... It's not a pain in the butt to weld. But if you're trying to weld technetium steel, it's like... What? Excuse me? I didn't know I need two billion energy for this. This is too much. Six PVC bars, and that is one catalytic reformer done. And hopefully we'll never need any more, because, dude, these things are expensive. <laughs> more expensive than they used to be. Back in my day, these used to be the least expensive thing ever. Yar. <laughs> okay, come on. Catalytic converter. Are we a pirate or what? Because I feel like we just stole a catalytic converter. Wait, what? Pirates ain't no lo landlubbers. Or whatever. So now we're making sulfuric acid, petroleum gas, and liquid hydrogen. Which is actually useless. So, remember. The three T's of disposal. Trash. Trash. And throw away. Those are the three T's of waste disposal. Now that you know... You know how to make the environment beautiful, and only you can do it. So go make the environment look beautiful today. Remember the three T's. Trash, trash, and throw away.